Hi everyone, once again welcome to the channel and today we are solving a very important and famous interview problem, trapping rainwater. So basically in this problem we are given an n non-negative integer representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1. Compute how much water it can trap after raining. So this like kind of you can understand 1 meter width uh, height buildings are standing and we need to see how much water will be trapped if rain is uh, happen. So like you can see in this leftmost building and right very very rightmost building there will be no water will be trapped as because all the water will be flowed left or right. Now in this gap there is no building the our building of height is 0 so the water will be trapped of 1 unit so 1 into 1 similarly over here 1 over here is 2 here 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is 6 so 6 is the answer so how to solve this problem so one of the very simple and straightforward solution you can think of like we will iterate through one by one building by building and we will find out the maximum height of the building the left to it leftmost to it including itself and the similarly right side of it so let's say if i am on this building i will go to left max is which is 1 and the right max is 3 so we have left max right max so we will take minimum of these two which is uh, or basically leftmost including this is 2 so the 2 is the minimum 2 of 3 so 2 minus 2 the uh, uh, current height of this building so which is 0 so there is 0 water will be trapped on this building as you clearly see there is no water so this approach you can implement uh, but if you code it you, you can see that solution will be goes to the O of n cube and if we see the constraint the length like n can be 10 power 4 and n cube solution will be very time consuming so that will definitely get time out. Can we further optimize a bit? So as you can see let us start from here. So if we start from here and initialize our left max y 0 first so let us say left max lm and initialize from 0 then from starting building 0 so at this point we know what is the left max before it then we will update the left max including it so that will be 1 now we need to find out the what is the right max including from this index so far so we will run another nested loop and go to the end of the list like length of our height array and find out the what is right max uh, over here this is the maximum which is 3 so now we know left max and right max uh, then we will take min over and minus the height so that will be 1 minus 1 which is 0 similarly for this now we know the left max till the previous building so we will update the left max that is 1 again and the right max again 3 so 1 minus 1 of minimum of 1 of 3 is 1 so we have 1 minus and the current height of the building is 0 so this will give us the water trap over on this building is 1 so like that you can implement the code using who like iterate through all the buildings and then another nested for loop or while loop to find out the right max as the left max we are keep updating in every iteration so you can try this code which is not that hard and very straightforward you can pause the video so here is the code for that approach so you just need to this is like case we can have zero height so we need to return over zero then we initialize the water variable that is a trapping total water and initialize the left max either you can initialize from zero or the very very first building then starting from like as i showed you like in the first building there will be no water but if you want to code then you can start from zero that is nothing different or you can go till the n as well and similarly we are updating every time the left max building and then finding the right max why from current building index to the end of the array once we got the right max we are taking the minimum over these two left and right max building then subtracting the current height and that will give us the trapping water so we will update our total trapping water after doing this we will get the total water so this is the solution now what is the time complexity of the solution so the time complexity of the solution is clearly o of n square as we are running two nested for loop so both of this will run definitely o of n and every time this will go n minus 1 n minus 2 n so so this will be o of n square and the space complexity as you can see we are just using a few variables so that will be o1 can we improve the time complexity of this solution why like either using more extra space or something so yeah we can try like as you know here we are keep getting left max and every time we are processing the right max finding the right max so instead of that what we can do we will pre-process it and find out the what is the right max building for this building so first we will create left max and right max array 
though left max array we can do in the process eh? but for the simplicity i will we will clear our array uh, create a left max array as well as right max array for left max array we will initialize from this current building like first bari were first building which is one then the max of left for this building second building which is one then the third building is two then two like that we will get two and two now we will get three 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 like this similarly for the right max we will start from right to left so rightmost building the top very very rise from the right max is one then second building is two then third building again two and two then three and all other from from here is three so this is what we know the what is the left max height and the rightmost size now we know both these things so what we need to do in the third loop we will just it it through all the buildings again and take the minimum of this left max or right max or the current index i once we get minimum and we will subtract the current building height then you will get the water trap on that building so you can sum over all the buildings and you will get the answer so now you can again pause the video and implement this little optimal solution than the previous one so the code of this solution is also over here as you can clearly see this is all very straight forward like computing left max then right array and then finding the trapped water by using the minimum of left or right so this is and then we are taking so this is just uh, uh, max of 0 minus yeah i guess this is not needed you can just uh, remove this max one you can just take the minimum of these two right or left and then subtract the current building height that is enough so yeah this is needed in the case when we have any one of them is lesser than the current height is it possible yeah that is possible so that is the important we need zero actually to find it out so that is now what is the time and space complexity of this solution so as you can see we are running three times for loop but all three are sequential no one is in the nested so that is overall time complexity of this solution is o of n where n is the height of our height array and the space complexity is also o of n as we are creating two arrays left and right that is the temporary space which is consuming of so this is a very good solution if you come up in interview but interview will must uh, ask you another follow up question and try to drill can you do the time complexity same but remove the space like solve it without space so that is a very important uh, solution and very important idea you have to know how as in the first solution if you see over here we are every time updating our left max we know the left max but we don't know the right max so what we can do instead of computing every time right max we will beforehand find out which is the tallest or the peak building in our all the buildings so as you can see this arrow is pointing to the the tallest and the peak peak of the building among all of them so what we can do we start from left to right so for this we know the right max building is fixed if we process till this index so we will note down the height of this building which is 3 and the index or you can just note down the index so then you can get the height that is straight forward then for left side as from the first solution we will keep update our left max so we will keep update our left max in slicing from 0 and then compute the water so water will be left max minus the current height of the building current height of the building so that is the water trap in this left all the left part of the building similarly for the right part we will initialize from this place or you can initialize from this index that nothing matter but we know the left max building at this place we just start so better to start from here so that we will calculating right max and keep updating it so we will know the right max building height so this is the idea now Oh, you can try the code yourself by using this idea. First, find out the index of the maximum height building, and then code it from left to till that index, and then right to till that index, and sum them up all the trap border. That will be our final answer. So let's quickly start the code. So this is the code for the second approach. So let's keep it these few variables, few things as it is, and here just update from here. That is enough. We will go for first process like int max index. and also just note down the value as well so that max index is let's say 0 and the uh, max value so the max value is 0 so now iterate from for int i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus 
so now we will check if the current h of i is greater than our previous max value max value then we will update our max value with the current height of the building and also update the max index with the current index i so once we done process is now we knew the peak index so now for that we will just declare int water again the variable water trap 0 and here we will start from int i is equals to 0 i less than or equals that doesn't matter so we will run till the max index and i plus plus now we also need to define another variable left max so that will be maximum on the left side and first we will update our left max with the math dot max of left max comma the height of the current building once it's updated we will update our water trap on this so that will be uh, left max minus the height current height of the building that's it similarly same thing we will do for the right part from starting from the index so now we need to change this start from the rightmost building n minus 1 and then till go the before the index and i minus minus now this will be right max let it call and update this everywhere so this is fine max we need to take it this so that is what so let's compile the code and see if it is working so code is looks working and everything is fine now we can submit the code so it got accepted now let's see what is the time and space complex so for time complexity we are running one for loop again another for loop another for loop so all for loop are sequential so overall time complexity is o of n and now see what is the space complexity as we are using just constant nothing is special space so the space complexity of this solution is o of 1 so let me write it down over here tc is o of n so if you like the solution hit the subscribe button so that's it o of 1 and there is another very important problem like trapping the water between uh, container in the containers so you can solve that problem as well thanks for watching